Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a digital journal. This is going to be an updated version. I've already done a video on how to create a digital journal, but it's been like two years since I've done that. <laughs> so I thought I'd just redo it and do an updated version. So I'm going to make this as quick and easy as I possibly can. This is the iPad Air 3 and then I have the, I think, first Apple Pen. I have this grip on it, so it's just easier for my hand to hold. And I have a matte type of paper light screen protector on it. In order to create the digital journal, we just need to use Keynote, which comes with Apple, so you don't have to pay for anything on this part. But I do use GoodNotes in order to use the app. And this is what it's going to look like. This was my older one, so it might look a little bit different. And this is how I use it. I create digital spreads for the books that I read, but I also want to introduce doing spreads for the games that I play as well. I love reading and I love playing video games, and I really want to do like a Hogwarts Legacy spread just because I've been enjoying it so much and I just want to write down my thoughts about it. This is my A Court of Mist and Fury spread, The Selection, and How's Moving Castle. I just have these main ones for now. I'm currently reading The Assassin's Blade, so I haven't completed this spread entirely yet. If you guys want to see a video where I'm talking and actually doing a digital spread, just let me know in the comments below and leave a like so that I know that you guys enjoy this content. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So you want to first start with opening Keynote, creating a presentation choose a theme and I usually just go for plain white click it to open and now we're just gonna delete this stuff so we have a blank canvas so we're gonna go into this little section I like to choose the rounded but this is a time where you can choose whatever you want you can make your pages more square or you can make them more rounded and I like to just go as close to the edge as possible and you take this and you just all the way to the edges there's this little green dot right here on the corner and this is where you can adjust how rounded you want it. This is going to be like the main big journal piece. You could change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to make mine brown right now. If you go to image on fill, you can add this little texture which you can adjust and I just think it makes it look more like a journal and you can change this image. You can put whatever you want if you want a pattern or anything like that. Click color overlay and I'm going to go into here and create like a brown color. Like that's really nice. It's a little bit too red for me. And then you can adjust the opacity of the color. I do want to see a little bit of the textures. Now I'm going to add the pages and for the pages, I like to have a rounded corner as well. So we're just going to put it right in the middle, extend and extend out right there. This is obviously going to be whatever color you want it to be. Here you can make black pages. You can make your pages whatever color, beige, like slightly white, but I'm just going to go in and create them as white for now. This is the part where I try to make it look realistic. I'll go into the paintbrush and then go to shadow. So right now I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to click again and do the paintbrush and add a shadow to it where it looks like an open book. So that's this one down here. So now we can just take this and pull it all the way over until it docks into the middle like that. We copy this and add more pages and just take it in just a little bit and then place it back into the middle. The third one that makes it look like shadow on both sides. And then I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it again, put it in the middle and then just bring it in just a little bit and then meet it back in the middle again. So that's how you make it look like multiple pages. Now I'm going to add a line in the middle to make it look like two pages, not just one full page. And to do that, you go into the shapes and you grab just the line again and you bring it all the way down into the middle. And to make it look more realistic, um, you can adjust the width so you can make it thinner and then you can add a shadow, something like that. Adjust the opacity just so it's not super harsh. So that's how you make the open pages. Now you can just take this and adjust to get the rest of the journal. You only need to make one of each page because you can just duplicate it in GoodNotes however many times you need it. Click here and click duplicate. I'm going to make this the first page when you first open the book. So I'm just literally going to grab all of these pages on the side and bring them in. And now you have the first page. I like to get a little creative with, and I like to add like a little pocket right here. So to do that, I go in here and I go into the little right triangle and bring it to the edge, bring it up as wide as I want, and then just try to line it up with the bottom page. Then I go into the paintbrush again, adjust the color. I'm going to add that texture again because I just really like the way it looks. I'm going to scale it up a little and do a color overlay. And I'm going to put the same color. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to bring it up just a little. Now I'm going to create another duplicate of this one. 
and I'm going to make the front cover. So I'm going to do basically the same thing. I'm going to delete this line in the middle. I'm going to delete these pages. I'm going to bring this in to the middle. And this is your decision whether you want to keep it towards the side, but I usually bring it right in the middle of the slide. I, I don't like how these little pieces aren't rounded. I like it to look square and then rounded. So you can grab just a normal square and bring it all the way down. And then you can go into your format and change the color once again. Color overlay. And then we're going to do the same thing where we add that color. Now you can add a little line as well. So we can just take this one. I deleted it. I probably shouldn't have. But copy, paste. And this is going to be that little groove in the page. I'm going to make sure it lines all the way up to the top and to the bottom. And then I'm going to change the color of it into like a dark brown or a black. There we go. And now it looks like a groove in a page. And to, if you want to get really creative, like how I usually try to do, you can put like this little wrap around that usually keeps your book closed. Once again, go in, change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to a brown and then you can go in with the shadow. You can just put it right on the edge like that. So that's the cover of your book. And you can just keep changing the colors whenever you want to whatever colors you want. Now all you need to do is duplicate these two because you want the back of the book and you want the last page. So in order to do this, you just go in to duplicate. I like to just keep it organized, so I'll move it to the bottom. Select objects and select all objects. You click done and you group them all into one. So that means that now when you move this, it's an entire piece. You go to format and you flip horizontally. And that's how you get the last page. And then you do it again with the back of the book. Click select objects, select all, done, group, format it, and flip horizontally. So now we have our entire journal here. All we have to do now is just export it. So now you could click presentation. You could rename it to your journal and now click export. We want to export it to a PDF and we're going to keep everything like that and click export. Now we could save it to files or just straight up open it in GoodNotes, which I'm going to do just so I can show you. We're going to import it as a new document. And there you go. Now you have a journal. Do whatever your hearts desire. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I explained this well. And if you have any more questions, just let me know and I'll try to get to them in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.